Hello everyone. This video is going to be a, a short tutorial about Alibaba. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes or so. I'm going to show you some of the most useful and most important features of the site. Um, and basically it's the world's biggest site for finding suppliers or manufacturers. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions of suppliers on here. You can find suppliers from all over the world. Although most of them are going to be from China. Alibaba is a Chinese website. And at this very moment, Alibaba is uh, valued at about 235 billion USD. So it's worth quite a lot. And it's the world's biggest site for finding suppliers. And uh, right on the front page, you're going to be greeted with something like this. Scroll down and it's probably going to show you some of the top um some of the top uh sellers or top ranking or things like that you can search for things that you want you can search for manufacturers and let's just assume that you don't really know what you want you just want to get some ideas so for example if you clicked on sports and entertainment you could come out with something like this and it can give you all sorts of ideas things that you might uh try to sell and let's say for example we have sports training equipment might be interested in gym supplies or something like that and you can find all kinds of ideas here with different suppliers and um, for example here we can search for these uh, these dumbbells so this is just one one example and all Alibaba pages are going to look like this. They're going to give you some uh, pictures and videos and then they'll describe the price and shipping and uh, they're going to tell you the supplier name, how long they've been on the site and if you want to get more info about the specific supplier you can click on it and can uh, go through. All of the pages are going to look like this get the ratings and reviews, which is really important. Also, yeah, it's just a good way to quickly search for suppliers. And they're going to tell you where the company is located. Okay, so these Chinese characters, it, uh, it says they're from, Anyway, they're from a place called Foshan, that's in Guangdong province. Uh, if you can read Chinese, Alibaba is extremely useful, but you can also use translators. Um, okay, so I don't see where it says where... Oh, they'll definitely have their address on here somewhere. Okay, so it says Foshan City. This is like uh, the company name. I guess this is the company name. Like this means sports. So anyway, that's the company name. Uh, so it'll tell you the location and then the uh, where it's located. Okay, and uh, it's kind of a bizarre name, Dissolved Fitness. Sometimes you'll have some bizarre names. I guess maybe they think it sounds cool in English or maybe it was a bad translation or something. I don't know. You'll find things like that. Okay, and let's say, for example, you, you knew for sure that you were interested in golf. You can say golf. Uh, let's say you wanted to sell something related to golf. Let's say, for example, golf balls. And uh, search like that. And here you can get some ideas. You've got uh, some golf tees, different colored golf tees. And you can find so many different... Um, things related to what you want. And as I mentioned, you can find them from all over the world, but the majority of them are gonna be from mainland China. And let's just go through this uh, quickly, this search. So every, um, this is like a default sort of, um, what the search will look like. It's gonna tell you the price, the minimum order quantity or MOQ. So that means basically, they want you to buy at least 1,000. Uh, you can 
message them and say, oh, can we do a bit less? So this is basically telling you that they want you to buy at least 1,000. You can definitely find suppliers who will go for less. You might, you'll just need to search for them. See here, they want 3,000 order. They want 600 others. Um, and we can actually filter for much less. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. But I just want to scroll down the front page. Um, and here, they'll show you, uh, this is the, the number of uh, diamonds. I believe the, um, I think companies actually have to pay money to uh, have some higher rankings here. But you can t you can see, for example, how long they've been on there. And if you want, you can uh, search these individual suppliers. You can contact them. I'll just give, we'll just search for uh, this one here. So this, they sell golf balls. They're different colored golf balls. And um, the name of the company is uh, Longway 300 Sporting. Okay, so that's the name. So on Alibaba, it's always going to be the case that the city that they're located is is the first name. So the first name should be where they're located. And they're always going to have a Chinese name, and uh, if they're Chinese. Uh, okay, so they're located in Hunan. The city would be uh, Longhui. Four years is pretty good. They have two reviews, which is not bad. Um, and anyway, you can see here, this means the lead time is, usually lead time means the amount of time it's gonna take for them to uh, finish manufacturing or uh, there just could be some, uh, however long it takes them to finish everything. So there's a lot of steps involved from buying to manufacturing to get it on a, a ship or a boat. But this is an estimate might not always be the case. Uh, samples, samples is um, the amount that you're gonna have to pay if you want one sample. You're also probably gonna have to pay for shipping. Here you can um, search for, you can give a sample order, for example, let's say you put in uh, 10,000, see what that, did I put? Yeah. Say you're going to buy 10,000 blue balls of an estimate of how much that is. By the way, I'm in Australia. Let's say, for example, you were in the U.S. You can change this to the U.S. or any other country. And something I, I found out earlier, which I think is super cool, is apparently they can ship to Antarctica. Although, uh, I think that would be super expensive to ship to Antarctica. But anyway, apparently they can ship to Antarctica, which I think is kind of cool. Um, anyway, uh, so you can search by your country, and I think the the country that you search, it'll default to that country's currency. So for example, the UK, say you're in the UK, it's going to default to pounds. You're in, uh, say you were in Germany, It going to default? Yeah, defaults to euros. A few months ago, I was in Colombia. Okay, Let's see if it's. I think you may may have an option to change your country and also the currency, but it seems that if you just change the country, it's going to default to that currency. But it should be an option to change that. Okay, so anyway, going back to this example. Um. Here we have you know different pictures you can look through got all the details. This here will tell you the customize logo. So if you want to customize, like put your company name on there, they're going to want you to buy at least 1,200. And they already have an MOQ. Oh, yeah. Um, it says the minimum order quantity, or the MOQ, is 1,200. So... Uh, you want to say, for example, buy only 1,100, you can probably message them and ask, can I do less? 
But if you just want to buy like 50 balls, for example, probably wasting your time because it says here MOQ is 1200. But you can definitely filter for other ones. And this is an important thing here. I think you should be able to see uh, most pages will also have like reviews for the individual item. So for example, uh, it, actually it's possible that they don't have enough buyers for this, but sometimes you'll be able to see it has um, you know, some reviews for this individual item. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's try one other one. Okay, so this has an MOQ of 10, which is very good. So that means that you only have to buy 10 balls as opposed to several thousand. So that's probably more, uh, if you just want to, you know, try try out selling online, for example, on um, Amazon FBA or anything like that, probably should try a, a much smaller quantity such as this. Okay, so this company is uh, it's called Shenzhen New Gaoping Sports Goods. In the past, I've actually tried out uh, golf stuff. Didn't work out, but um, Alibaba is a great place to find golf stuff. And let's look at this page here. So um, this company has a 4.8, which is very good, 4.8 out of 5 out of 32 reviews. And they're, they're in Shenzhen. Shenzhen is sort of like China's big high-tech city, aside from Hong Kong. Um, and yeah, you see here we have different options that we can try. And for payments, we have all these different options. And actually, Alibaba uh, will probably accept almost every major way to pay. Uh, it's their biggest online uh, place to find a supplier, so probably won't have a problem. I almost always would pay with credit card. I think I've paid with PayPal, MasterCard, Visa, and uh, yeah, I think maybe I've tried some others. But anyway, it's very convenient to buy Alibaba. And Alibaba, I believe they give 2 or 3% fee. Uh, but that's just sort of an every time fee, part of how Alibaba makes money. OK, so going back here. We can get some details about this. So it'll tell you what it's made of. It's made of synthetic rubber. Outlayer is DuPont plastic. And, and we see here, you can see some pictures. They cut the ball in half, or they show it what it looks like in its individual components. And like I said, the the supplier has a 4.8 rating, which is really good. The response time is uh, less than five hours. So I guess that, that would be on average. If you send them a message, they'll reply within five hours. And just try to remember that they're on Chinese time. So uh, figure out your time zone and uh, know your time zone and figure out the time difference between that and China, because if you send a message like middle of night, maybe they won't respond. But if you set, send it during their working hours, uh, that'll be best. OK, so online delivery rate, that's very good, almost 98%. This shows their annual total revenue, which is not bad, um, about 4.4 USD, 4.4 million. So they're doing pretty well. And uh, again, going back to company overview, you can get some information about them. They'll tell you their main markets. So this is pretty good if you um, are selling internationally. They're, they sell in North America, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and they can give you some information about, OK, so they've launched 105 products in the last year, which is pretty good. Um, give some information about some of their employees and they can uh, looking at the reviews is actually really good so this person's from Sweden apparently US uh, you can see some more reviews for example 
the US, US, Japan, and uh, so on. Somebody from Australia. And if you want to actually message them, you can. Um, you can go from the, I usually contact them directly from the page that I want to buy from. Um, I usually don't show a, I usually don't show a, um, my business card on the first time, but yeah, and Alibaba website itself is not like amazing. There's some sort of design issues, but it's pretty good. Let's say, for example, I wanted to say, hello, I am interested in your product. Okay, blah, blah, blah. You can message them and they'll probably respond. Um, Okay, so that was just for golf products. And I wanted to show you something really, I think, super interesting with Alibaba. Let's say, for example, I wanted to sell uh, judo geese. And this is just an example site. I wouldn't say, like, exactly copying them. But if you um, downloaded one of their images, you can actually do a reverse image search, which is, I think, super useful. A search by image. Okay, so for example, let's say you wanted to search a judo gi, according to martial arts, specifically judo. Okay, so you've got all these different options. Let's say, let's just look at two different suppliers. Okay, so they have the options of different colors, black, light blue, so on. And with Alibaba, you're just going to have to... Uh, We'll use it a lot to get a good idea, but I'm just trying to show you here. Oh, and this is kind of interesting. They're based in Pakistan. That's pretty rare for me to see a non-Chinese supplier. Wow. Could it be that most of the ghee manufacturers are in Pakistan? That would be surprising to me. Okay. So I've just showed you now golf. And uh, let's go back to searching for something else. Let's say we want to search for golf putters. I want to show you some more uh, useful features. Okay, so like I've said, um, here I'll tell you the minimum order quantities. So for example, yeah, this one here says they want you to order at least 200. So if you're just starting out, that's probably a high number. For example, I might prefer a um, much smaller number, let's say like 10. Okay, so one thing that I would suggest that you always do is uh, filter for trade assurance and also filter for verified supplier on the left here. So trade assurance basically means um, Alibaba uses like a... Um, escrow so basically it means that um, you have some sort of buyer protection so if they don't live up to shipping you properly you get a refund so it's basically just like insurance and it's also good for the supplier too if if the buyer is somehow unethical Alibaba could help the supplier so it's uh, it's a win-win pretty much for everyone I think it's just a small fee that goes on Okay, so let's, um, and like I said, you can also filter by quantity. This one, they only want 10, which is not bad. Is this a putter? I don't think this is a putter. It's like a specialized putter. Okay, well, I think this is just, yeah, design looks okay. Okay, so let's say um, we're talking about golf balls. Let's go back to golf balls. Say I didn't want to buy like a thousand golf balls. I only wanted to buy 10. So like I've said, I like to um, 
filter by trade assurance. So that means basically that you have some sort of buyer protection or seller protection. Verified supplier. This is, uh, I believe, Alibaba sort of vets different uh, suppliers and they pay some kind of fee. But probably going to have them be more trustworthy. I have dealt with some uh, potentially questionable suppliers in Alibaba. There are millions of suppliers, so it's going to happen. So I would always go for this. Go for verified supplier. Ready to ship. That means like if you want things to buy immediately, like you don't have to wait for it to be manufactured. You can also filter for that. To ship. That's what you want. And uh, this is something that I think is uh, super useful. Let's say that I only wanted to buy 10, like a minimum order of 10. I can buy more, but I don't want to have to buy like 1,000. So you can filter by these. This company um, offer you to buy, to sell, sell you golf balls for just uh, 10 at a time. This one even has a minimum order of one. So that's really good by just one. And yeah, we've dealt with this company before. Gaopin. Shenzhen, this is also the same city as the other one. Um, okay, good. And this one is another company that seems a little bit Oh, and they also show you the shipping price, which is nice. Shipping price of five, four, five. Sometimes they don't always show you the shipping price. Okay, so this is just yet another company you can try out. And one thing I always recommend is you message the supplier first. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying from them unless you uh, have a ton of experience, like buying from a new person, you should first match them and uh, see how they respond. Okay, and let's say, for example, I want the minimum price to be a dollar. I don't want to have to buy something that, um, actually, let's go down a little bit. The maximum price is ten dollars. Minimum price is fifty cents. Do that. It's here. I don't know what this is. A golf ball alignment tool. Never even heard of that. Sometimes on Alibaba, you can start out wanting to sell one thing, and you get an idea of something totally different. Uh, seems kind of interesting, actually. I've never even heard of this kind of thing. If I were selling in golf, this is something I might actually investigate. And anyway, Alibaba, there's like so many different things you can uh, do. It's amazing. And there's a lot of different filters. I personally would only use like these top filters, but if you want to be even more specific, filter by the size. Um, and there's lots of different uh, filters you can do. Um, and let's say, for example, you wanted to sell a pencil, just just a ordinary pencil. Uh, they have so many different things you could buy. So if you're into stationery, do that, and you can filter by all these different things: the material, filter by the country so on and so on. I would always say to um, have the trade assurance and also verified supplier. Okay, and once you have a something that you actually want to buy, again, I would first contact the supplier and then the supplier will, uh, after you agree to a certain amount, the supplier can make an order for you in Alibaba and then you pay there. I, I'm not going to actually order anything on this uh, video, but this 
uh, process is pretty straightforward. So first thing of all is search for your product, find a few products you're interested in, and you message a few suppliers about that. Um, I would always recommend at least two or three suppliers to contact about a product just in case. You can compare prices and um, ideally you want to get supplies or a sample. So compare the quality of the samples and the pricing and uh, you know there's a lot of different things but Alibaba I think is anyway it's a fantastic place to get started. And so going back to the original page, like I said, if you search for what you want, if you know a specific manufacturer that you want, you can go search for there. And anyway, you can get all sorts of ideas from Baba. And just sort of randomly, let's see, what are the top ranked products on Alibaba at this moment? So apparently these are selling pretty well. Uh, these types of clothing, this hair stuff. So like I said, you, you've literally got millions of different items you could try Alibaba. And just like with anything, this takes practice, but I think Alibaba is really a fantastic site and it's, it's the main site I go and source things from. And dealing with suppliers is a whole different topic. This in, this video is just about finding individual products, but I highly recommend that you try out Alibaba. It's a fantastic site. And uh, you can actually start out, you make you can make an account you don't need to have a company. If it asks you for a company, you could just leave it blank or maybe put NA or just put your own name. I don't think they actually care if you have a company or not. Um, so don't worry about that. Alibaba is not going to restrict you if you're just an individual, you don't have a company. Um, Yeah, and anyway, Alibaba, like I said, it's a fantastic uh, place to find suppliers. It's uh, one of the main sites I use to source my own products. And uh, I've used it for several years. Alibaba is really quite good. I don't know if it's the case now, but at least it used to be that Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, is the richest man in China. He may still be, may not be, I don't know, but certainly one of the most wealthy, and he founded this site. Um, okay, so just want to do one final uh, review. So again, back to the Alibaba site. And this video was just about basic searching, but you can search for what you want and uh, you can search for manufacturers and get some ideas from the front page. Let's just say, for example, you had uh, wanted to search for, yeah, just say designer bags. This I accidentally clicked on that. You can filter by all, all sorts of different things. But if no matter what, I always recommend that you go for trade assurance. Um, I think almost everybody is going to want trade assurance, but that's just basically basic security for you, which I would always recommend. If you want to start your own sort of fashion brand, this could be a place, great place to come, Alibaba. You can directly um, contact these manufacturers and uh, customize your products and all sorts of things. So, and on here, again, I highly recommend that you go for uh, filter by minimum order quantity and also if you want price. Okay, I'm going to be making future videos about Alibaba uh, and for starting your own online business. I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you in the next one.